Good morning. A quick video to revisit an old issue. Did this before, but I will put it back as you know, new information for people that just started watching or something. Uh, but anyway, to get this upper bearing out, sometimes they are seized in the frame frame fork thing. And the best way that I found, instead of trying to put a pipe under that and hammer upwards and all this craziness, is to jack the frame up in general and put a piece of pipe down to the floor. That way you're getting gravity as an assist. And then if you want, you can, uh, you know, you want to limit it. Other, the, it, if it pops out, you don't want the whole machine to drop on the ground. So you put a jack or something on one side so that it can go the amount that you want, just a couple inches and then knock it out. Because now if you put a board across here, that's the safest way, but you do dampen the, the impact. So if you're tactful with your hammer and you feel, you know, you, know, you should never modify your machines and be careful when you're doing this stuff, wear safety glasses, but uh, just basically with the weight of the machine down on that and the pipe going downwards, the bearing has no choice. But to come out. Okay. And then you can jack it back out. And this is a slow jack. And get the pipe out. Now, I could just pull it through, but this pipe has a flange on the other side. But uh, that way... I found it to be easier because your swing is more natural in a downwards position and uh, the impact has more force because you have a, a steady downwards pressure from, from gravity. You're getting a gravity assist in a natural swing that way. People, I think it was that video said something about, oh, how barbarian or something, you know, big hammer and all that. Look, I just do things the way it works, you know. I'm not looking to impress somebody with perfect machining or mechanical skills. My only concern is to have efficacy and completion of what I need to get done so I can move on to the next thing. All right, have a good day.